Hey, this is Jake, and welcome to your second GUI tutorial in Java. Today I'm going to be talking about, um, this is going to be the first component we're talking about, and that's going to be a J label, which is just some text in your window that's used to label things. And so components are like buttons and checkboxes and things like that that you can add to your window. So in our second class, I'm going to import two things. I'm going to import Java x.swing because we're going to use some things from there and um, java.awt alright so the first thing I'm going to do is make this extend jframe so I, when I create this um yeah j capital F extend jframe when I create this object I let's say I call it s I could do like s.set visible with it alright so First thing I'm going to do is actually make a J label. So private static J label, and I'll call it label. Next, I'm going to make a constructor. So public second, so that all this stuff happens when we create our object. Public second. And the first thing I'm going to do is label equals new J label. And the parameter it takes is a string, which is what you want it to say. So this is a label because I'm creative like that. Um, so next thing I want to do is set our layout. And what layouts are is how everything is going to be placed in our window and where it is. And right now, I'm just going to set um, a default layout. In our next tutorial, I'm going to be talking about layouts using absolute positioning, which is like positioning things with X and Y coordinates. And there are things called layout managers, um, which are like a couple different kinds of default layouts. But I'm not going to be teaching how to use those because I find it better to use absolute positioning anyway. Because when you start working with a lot of components, it's... um. I don't know it's more customizable I guess so I'm just gonna do set layout and in here the for the default new new flow layout I and the reason I don't have to create a frame and do f dot set layout and stuff like that is because I extended jframe up here okay then I have to um, set size, and I'll set 350 by 300. Set title, and I'll call it um, first component. Set default close, and we went over all this in the last tutorial, but jframe dot exit on close and I'm gonna add our component because um, when you create all these components they're not added by default you have to add them so do that I'll add label and now here here's all I have to do second s equals new second s dot set visible true and I'll run this and you'll see what the component is here it is here's our window um, the title is first component and here's some text that says this is a label and that's the J label and I didn't choose this positioning this positioning was chosen because that's the default layout and in the next tutorial I'll be talking about absolute positioning and another component which is the J text field so See you next time. Thank you for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.